everybody, this is Mr. Games Master One here, and today I'm gonna to bring you guys another Team of the Season BPL player review, and it's gonna be on Aguero. And if you don't know, this is also a coin giveaway, and I'm just doing 25 giveaway, just giving away my coins, you know, FIFA's ending, all that good stuff. Simply be a subscriber, be a follower on Twitter, like this video, and comment below. Say anything you want, and choose the number between 1 and 250. But please, one number per account don't please make my life so much easier don't try to do don't like the same account use like several numbers just please be conservative about it and here let's get into this review comparing team of the season aguero to normal aguero you're gonna see a major boost in almost every stat you see like a plus four plus five plus eleven shoot it's just fucking unreal to be honest and i couldn't have done this review without my friends fifa lords check out his link in the description like every team of the season review so here, pause and read these. 99 ball control, 82 crossing, 97 curve, 99 dribbling, 99 finishing, 85 free kick accuracy, 81 heading accuracy, 93 long shots, 99 penalties, 97 short pass, 99 shot power, 99 volleys, 4 weak foot, 4 scale moves, high attacking work rate, low defensive, which is amazing, 78 strength, 90 sprint speed, 99 reactions, 85 jumping, 99 balance, 95 agility, 99 acceleration, 83 vision, 87 attack position. Holy fucking shit, how good are those stats? And we're going to see from the gameplay, I also have some epic gameplay to go with it. End of this video, we're going to see, is this guy worth it? What an own goal. <laughs> is this guy worth it? Could he compete on Division 1 level? And is there a difference between his team of this uh, team of the season card the normal card so let's start with the pros his major pro i would say is his high attacking work rate low defensive some people don't see how important that is but that means this guy is always making runs never goes back he's just making runs you could always find him for through balls and add all that good stuff he has four weak with four skill moves that means he could finish with both feet he could skill he Basically, he could be a lone striker. This guy is definitely one of those players where you could put him like in a one striker formation. He's definitely that guy that could be there. He could skill, he could finish by himself, he could use both feet. He's making runs, all that good stuff. His passing is incredible. He could give through balls, he could give short passes, he could cross. Uh, that's really nice. His finishing, oh my god, his finishing is top notch. I know I've been saying these players today have been fucking amazing, but they honestly are. Even though I make them sound godly, they are godly. They've been that good of players. And hands down, my favorite uh, five strikers in this game. Number one is Slatan. Number two is Crespo. Number three is uh, Aguero. Number four is Neymar. And number five, probably is Suarez. But let's continue. So I would say this guy, his shooting is incredible. His finesse shots, his power shots. What I really stood out for me was his weak foot outside of the box finesse shots. Those were incredible finesse shots. I scored like a few of those really nice goals. Uh, so he said passing, he said shooting. His pace, he has outstanding pace. He could be any center back and with that pace he comes with strength. So that's a major boost. Because when you have a big guy running really fast, it's really hard to pull him down or take the ball away from him. And not only that, he has incredible skill moves too. So... Uh, dribbling so you could be running full sprint do skill moves there's no way in hell defenders could take the ball away from you and his heading he scored a few headers for me and they were rocket headers he could he got a header over Chiellini it's just a perfect striker again as I said with Suarez this guy has no cons whatsoever I'm gonna give this guy a 10 out of 10 I really I really cannot give him anything less than a 10 out of 10 I'll be lying if if I did uh could this guy compete on division 100 million percent yes is this guy worth the coins this is the hardest question because his most of these players their shiny gold card could compete just almost on the same level it's just like it's not worth that extra amount of coinage but again i see this every time if you have the coinage might as well spend it and yeah that's basically it I'm probably going to try to bring you guys a hazard review. If I don't bring it today, I'll bring it to you tomorrow. And yeah, that's basically it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.